hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to be bringing today's video your way it's been a while i did makeup tutorial here and i've missed doing that like i miss doing makeup tutorial here i just started to do that here because i have a new product to showcase that and um yeah today i'm going to do like an updated brow uh, routine how i achieve my brows every day or every other day and um i'm going to be using this product from Zaron Cosmetics. It's a new brow pencil and um, last week I got some product from them and I, I did an unboxing. This product, one of the products I got from that unboxing. I'm going to be linking the video here of the product I got. Maybe you can go watch it and see the products I got. But this pencil was one of the pencils I got from that unboxing and I'm going to be showing you guys how to use it. I love the packaging of this product. I love how it came. It's a three-in-one um, brow pencil and it's easy to use let's get into today's video let me show you guys how i achieve my brows if you're new to my channel my name is blessing please subscribe to my channel like this video and leave a comment below and guys let's get started into today's video so guys here is the product and i'm so excited to be sharing it with you all i haven't tried this product since i got it i just thought to do so today it's a three-in-one brow pencil so it has like a spoolie and it comes with an applicator the applicator has like a bit of powder or um, concealer that helps to highlight your under brows so if you want to do if you're in a hurry you can just use this to just highlight your brows and it comes out so natural and it also comes with a pencil itself i love the shape i love this shape it has like a v shape or like an an angle shape before we dive in, let's make sure we have all the tools we need. You want to have a flat brush to highlight or clean the excess brow pencil with concealer, a blending brush, and of course your spoolie, which you already have in the three-in-one brow pencil. You also need a powder, but this is optional. I'm using this because my face is kind of oily, so I had to use a translucent powder to, you know, blend my face. You need a translucent powder to powder to achieve this. Now. To achieve a clean brows, you have to make sure that your brows is very clean and well shaped. First off, you comb your brows with a spoolie brush to shape them and make them, you know, look very neat. Now, before you start drawing your brows, you need to start from the bottom. You don't need to go from the top. You need to go from the bottom and work your way up for a natural look. You don't want to do you know so much just start from the bottom and work your way off for a natural look remember that the key to great brows is to follow your natural brow shape if you don't feel not, if you don't follow your natural brow shape you might easily not get what you're looking for that way you're not overdoing it you know and you're not just you are just trying to enhance you know your natural brow so you're not just trying to overdo you're trying to just enhance your natural brow so it's better for you to start very from your bottom and i love this pencil because with just one application i just you know got what i wanted you can see that with just one application we were able to achieve a very clean brow for the fact that i'm following my brows is another you know thing that will make your brow look very neat so you don't want your brows to be all over the place natural brows is the best it's not making you look you know awkward it's just making you still be you and yeah guys i love how it came out this pencil is amazing as in it's amazing i love the fact that it comes with a spoolie so while you are drawing your pencil you're drawing your um, brows you're also using the spoolie on the other end to make it look neat and easy to wear <laughs> and you can see the way i'm brushing and i love the fact that the spoolie is not so um thick is just there is not taking away my brows my pencil and the next thing i'm going to go in will be my con my zaron concealer and i'm using it in the shade shell yeah in the name shell i'm using it i'm using this concealer to give my brows a shape and to also give my edges a clean finish you don't want to take so much concealer into your brows because you're just trying to take away the excess and also to give your brows you know a clean finish that's what you're doing so you don't need to take so much concealer taking so much concealer you won't be able to blend it out and you don't want that for yourself and i will always advise that you should do like two shades lighter than your skin tone or even your own um two shade don't go three or four shade go into two two shade 
lighter than your skin tone that way you can be able to blend it you know that this tutorial is for beginners beginners you don't need to use something so light if you use something so light you won't be able to blend you know it into your skin so it's advisable to use some like two shade lighter than your skin tone that way it will look natural you can see how it looks natural on my skin like i love how it came out and i'm using the blending brush to just you know blend it into my skin you can see that the concealer is not so much it's just very small and easy to blend <laughs> brush to take away the excess i didn't need to add any concealer to do that i just cleaned the excess concealer and just went in with it but if you have to do that then you need to use your exact shade of concealer that way it makes it look natural and i went in with a translucent powder just so to blend the uh, concealer that i used you know to give it a matte finish so that it will be looking so um so it will not crease basically so that's why i had to use the transcend powder to achieve that and yeah guys this is my brows i'm really impressed with the results i got using the zara 3 in 1 gel brow pencil like it's a game changer for my brow routine guys i can't wait let me know in the comments if you are going to be trying this product or if you have already tried it and what you think about the product and that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this updated brow tutorial using this amazing new product. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you get to subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.